Hello everyone, it's Aidan here with another news update for you. This morning, Sony announced that it would acquire Savage Game Studios. This is a mobile games development company. It's made up of some industry veterans from the likes of Insomniac, and it's based in Berlin and Helsinki. And according to its website, this company develops AAA mobile live service action games. So <laughs> quite a lot to consume there, but of course we all know mobile gaming is huge. It's rapidly expanding, it's incredibly lucrative, it's massive in the East, and it really is rising and becoming a bit more mainstream in the West with releases of the likes of Call of Duty Mobile and Apex Legends Mobile. Now, this proves once again that Sony really does have its eye on areas outside of console gaming. Recent months or recent years, we've seen the company release some of its PlayStation exclusives on PC. Just the last couple of months, we've had Spider-Man Remastered and looking forward, we've got The Last of Us Part 1 Remake potentially just months away. So the idea behind this acquisition is to bring new and existing IPs to the mobile platform and this could be a great expansion. Mobile gaming isn't really for me. I like the idea of sitting down to my console, but I entirely understand the idea of wanting, wanting to game on the go. It's why Sony has partnered up with Backbone. They've got the console, uh, the controllers that will attach to your mobile. And of course, we've seen outside of Sony, massive success in the Steam Deck and the Nintendo Switch. Portable gaming is huge and I think mobile gaming is about trying to learn how to adapt what we have from consoles and not necessarily replicate it because of course it's not really possible but remote play of course is a big thing as well. To anyone out there on console that is worrying that maybe this means less games for yourself, Sony did reaffirm that it was remaining committed to the PlayStation community. It still has a deep passion for making these amazing single player narrative driven experiences and of course that is definitely true looking over the last year we've had horizon forbidden west gran turismo 7 just with the next couple of months we've got god of war ragnarok next year spider-man 2 beyond that the wolverine there's plenty of playstation exclusive content still coming to console players so there's no need to worry there this is just an expansion in a way that allows you to have more options more opportunities to experience your favorite franchises. I would expect some form of God of War or Ghost of Tsushima or Horizon mobile games to be coming out with acquisitions like this. So I'll be really excited to see how it goes moving forward. But of course, let me know down below what you are thinking about all of this. Are you excited over the prospect of experiencing your favorite PlayStation IP on the go? or is it just not an area that you're interested in? Let me know and remember to like and subscribe to the channel for more PlayStation news just like this, along with a wide range of content like Let's Plays, gameplay videos, analysis, reviews, all of that kind of stuff and more right here on Push Square. I'll see you guys next time.